What is up everybody, it's me, that one Weeb here, back with another episode of What If Naruto Could Use Nen, Part 3. Last time, uh, Naruto was training with his Nen before Kakashi got there, and he woke up, and then Naruto began training with Nen to walk on trees, just like they did in the original, but with Chaka. Now, everyone's going back to the bridge, so let's get back right into it. Naruto and the whole Team 7 escort Tazuna back to the bridge where he's going to finish his plans and help everyone else build it until they finally have the ability to trade with the mainland, thus freeing them of Gato's reign over them. Once they get there, however, they agree by an unexpected surprise. Once Naruto, Kakashi, and Sasuke and Sakura arrive, then a mist begins to pour in from the sides of the bridge, slowly enveloping the trio as well as Kakashi and Tazuna. Once this happens, they all get into their defensive formation when Haku and Zabuza come spinning into action. As Zabuza begins a fight with Kakashi, Kakashi defends with a kunai against, you know, his big sword, the Executioner Blade. Zabuza and Kakashi get into a fight and begin their grappling and dueling with blades. Haku then grabs Sasuke and begins to battle with him. Sasuke and Haku are pretty even at first as Haku's not going all out. Naruto's helping Sakura defend Tazuna at that point until he, uh, Haku activates the demon ice mirrors. As this happens, Naruto jumps into the mirrors to help Sasuke. Then, once the, the crystal ice mirrors jutsu is formed, uh, Haku begins using his uh, senban and throwing them at the, tr du the, the duo. Once Naruto realizes what's going on, he activates his nin shield and puts it around him and Sasuke. When the Senban come flying at him and Sasuke, they harmlessly bounce off of his Nen and reflect backwards. Naruto uses this ability to harden his Nen, and this is when he realizes that his Nen type is a transformation type, just like Kilo's type, where Kilo can change his Nen into electricity. He doesn't know what this means yet, as he hasn't actually taken the test in order to like change the the like the trans uh, to, with the leaf in the water. So he doesn't know what his Nen type is yet, but he's actually unconsciously just changed his Nen formation into like a, like a harder version of it, so that way it would bounce the Senban off. When Naruto's Nen is being stretched out this much, however, he can't keep it up for long. As his Nen control is excellent over his own body, but when he's trying to protect Sasuke as well, it's making it much more difficult. Sasuke gets out of, uh, from under Naruto's Nen shield and begins trying to fight against Haku. Haku's beginning to cut him and Naruto's trying to protect him. Sasuke tells Naruto to stay back and then he can do this. He then breathes in and out, and then activates his Sharingan. As his Sharingan are activated, him and Haku bit into a fighting, like, into a fight. As you can see, Haku's movements far better than he could before without his uh, Sharingan eyes. He's now dodging and able to actually counter back, but Haku's basically able to dodge most of this. Naruto then, who is still trying to mess with his Nen that he had impulsively just transformed, Naruto then uses his Nen and then pushes forward and increasing his strength, and he then punches ha uh, he then punches Haku in the face. As Haku is actually caught between the mirrors, he's then sh flown back into another mirror. Haku begins the fight and continues going at a much faster pace. Now at this point, all Naruto can do is defend, and his Nen's beginning to wear down. Suddenly, Sasuke and him are getting cut. Sasuke then begins to jump in the way, and of course you know what happens. Sasuke goes down and Naruto thinks he dies. Then, Naruto's eyes close and he begins shaking. Tears begin to flow down Naruto's face as he realizes that his friend and rival is dead. He then looks up towards Haku with a blind rage. At this point, deep inside of him, a fox, the nine-tailed fox, releases all of his Nen into Naruto to let him use it. Then. His usual, you know, his usual white Nen of nature turns into a dark crimson orange. At this point, Naruto stands, and his Nen is so thick and heavy you can practically feel the bloodlust in his eyes. At this point, Haku is beginning to shit himself as he realizes that Naruto is way too strong for his own good. Naruto, at this point, is just uh, destroying Haku. With his Nen abilities, he's just flying back and forth at faster speeds than he ever had before. He uses his net and enhances it in his fist to make his punches stronger and heavier. He finally takes Haku down and sends him backwards out of the mirrors, cracking it with his chakra and, you know, QB Nen. After that point, eventually, they all stop and Haku is then taken down by Naruto. 
How could he use the last of his life to defend Kakashi? Not defend Kakashi. To fend off Kakashi and defend Zabuza. He's then stabbed by the Raikiri from Kakashi and is slowly dies. Zabuza, seeing this, is enraged and begins to fight even harder against Kakashi than before. At this point, Gato's men come up and he then stops his fight with Kakashi as he realizes he's going to lose. He takes down Kakashi in one grapple and throws him to the ground. He then tells him he'll, he'll see him next time and takes his sword and runs into the crowd, taking them all out. After Gato and his men are all taken out, then he dies along with Haku. The rest of the Team 7, after the bridge is named the Naruto Bridge, they all head back to the Land of Fire and, and get back to Leaf Village. At this point, Naruto, who has lost that chakra, that chakra and Nen from the Kiwi that he had before, is searching for a way to make his Nen stronger, as well as to find out what happened to his Nen when he was trying to defend him in Sasuke, as they had never been able to do that before and had always been translucent. Sasuke, on the other hand, had seen something when his Sharingan was activated. He saw this odd, like, wave of cloak, kind of cloak around Naruto when they were fighting back there, and is now curious more than ever what Naruto had there and what it was. When Naruto and everyone is walking around the village, suddenly, Naruto senses something. It's Nen. He turns and he sees Gara, the one-tailed jink Cherokee, with sand and an orangish, yellowish, sandy-colored Nen surrounding him. As Naruto sees this, his eyes widen, and Gara's eyes widen as well. They realize that they can see each other's Nen, and immediately put into into their Ren to power each other's their Nen up. They then look at each other with intense Zen to try and psych each other out using their bloodlust abilities. But no one else can see this, so they're just staring at each other really hard. Tamari and Kankuro interrupt and ask what's going on, and actually get kind of confused. Naruto and Gara lock eyes for that a long time. Sasuke is also confused and activates his Sharingan to see what's going on. He then sees the Nen that's pouring out of these two. Absolutely god levels of chakra, if he if it was converted to chakra. While they're looking at each other, then suddenly Gara comes down and Naruto stops. He then asks Gara why he's there in the Leaf Village. And then Gara tells him that Naruto that he's like him and that they'll fight again soon. He then tells him that he'll see him at the Chunin exams and he walks away. Naruto and the rest of the gang go back and find Kakashi, where Kakashi tells him about the Chunin exams for that year. At that point, Naruto and the rest of the team agree, and they agree to go into the Chunin exams. If you guys want to see the Chunin exams for 1, 2, and 3, as well as Naruto's fight against Gara and so on and so forth, then make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe. Sorry that this part's a little bit shorter, but uh, yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. It's black and white.